Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 1st, and today is the Memorial of St. Joseph the Worker. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Does disciplining your child break their spirit? Dr. Ray has some thoughts, but first, your local weather and this news. A judge is delaying a probable cause hearing for the woman accused of driving drunk and crashing her vehicle into a boat club, killing two children and injuring almost a dozen others. Judge Michael C. Brown decided to delay the hearing for Marcella Chidester by almost two months, so her attorney has time to review police reports and information on the case. Chidester is charged with two counts of second-degree murder, two counts of operating while intoxicated causing death, and four counts of OWI causing serious injury. She was released on bond last week. Seven more victims of the crash are signing on to a civil lawsuit against her and a local bar that served her alcohol. Two candidates in Michigan running for the U.S. House are facing challenges as they seek to represent Michiganders in Washington. Democratic candidate Curtis Hertel of East Lansing is running in the 7th District. Republicans challenged his nominating petition for saying he's seeking a role in the U.S. Congress and not the U.S. House. Current U.S. Representative Shri Tanadar of Michigan's 13th District challenged 791 signature lines of his primary opponent, former Michigan State Senator Adam Hollier. Tanadar claims the signatures are from people outside the district or from people who aren't even registered to vote. Tanadar narrowly beat Hollier in a nine-person primary in 2022. Yesterday was the deadline for challenges to be filed against nominating petitions for the August ballot. The Oxford High School shooter will serve the rest of his life in prison at a new prison in Michigan. The shooter was sentenced in December after he pleaded guilty to 24 charges, including first-degree murder and terrorism. He was serving his sentence in Lapeer at the Thumb Correctional Facility, The shooter turned 18 years old this month and was relocated to the Oaks Correctional Facility in Manistee. Michigan residents who filed a class action lawsuit against the Unemployment Insurance Agency will be compensated. A $55 million settlement has been reached over the agency's mishandling of claims during the COVID-19 pandemic. The UIA also agreed to pay another $45 million to those who had their benefits reclaimed by the state. It was determined the UIA did not follow the proper appeals process to take money back. The agreement addresses the vast majority of those who claimed they were harmed, and the agencies agreed to reform their system. Those changes have been approved by the Michigan Court of Claims. And Michigan Central Station will hold a 10-day reopening celebration in early June that will include free public tours and a concert. The grand opening comes after a six-year restoration project and 36 years of closure. Those tours will be given between June 7th and 16th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. Your local weather is coming up next. Now this. This is Franciscan Father Greg Friedman for the Catholic Communication Campaign with a message about faithful citizenship. When a pastor preaches on social justice, he may hear, why are you talking politics in church? Well, the simple answer, it's what Jesus did. How we treat each other is more than politics. It's an essential part of Christ's teaching. His words and actions weren't always popular, but they guide our Catholic conscience. The dignity of all human life is our priority because that's what Jesus taught. For more, go to faithfulcitizenship.org. Today in the Motor City, we will start with mostly cloudy skies this morning, and they will gradually clear out as the day goes on. Highs will be in the upper 70s. Tonight, we can expect partly cloudy skies and lows in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, we'll have mostly sunny skies with highs in the lower 70s. On Friday, the rain returns with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. That rain continues into the weekend with a chance of showers on Saturday and highs in the mid-70s. Today in the Saginaw Valley, we will start with mostly cloudy skies this morning and they will gradually clear out this afternoon. Highs will be in the mid-70s. Tonight, we'll have partly cloudy skies and lows around 50. Tomorrow, we'll have mostly sunny skies and highs around 70. On Friday, the rain returns with showers likely and a possibility of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Saturday will be mostly sunny with highs in the lower 70s.
Discipline doesn't break spirits. That was the topic of a recent monologue by Dr. Ray Garendi. Take a listen. Somebody comes into my office as a parent, and typically, if this is something to do with a child's conduct behavior, the parent has reasons that they've been unsure of themselves regarding their authority, reasons that they haven't disciplined like they believe they should have, reasons that they've been reluctant to assert their parenthood, and I have to explore these things. I can't simply say, and I learned this a long, long time ago, I can't simply say, well, try X, A, B, C. Because if there are roadblocks to their trying X, A, B, C, i got to try to get past those roadblocks. Here's one. It's, it's not necessarily a top one, but it's probably in the top ten. I just don't want to break his spirit. Discipline doesn't break spirits. Mean discipline can break a spirit. Having standards, holding a child accountable, having a consequence to help teach the lesson, which is what the world does, by the way, is not mean. It doesn't break spirits. If you say, I'm going to break his spirit by holding him accountable for his conduct, the world will crush his spirit. Because the world puts consequences on misbehavior much stronger than a loving parent does. If a child is slacking in his chores, a loving parent may find some consequence, some rule, something to enforce that these chores get done. An employer will fire him. He'll lose the job. The Doctor is in weekdays at 1 p.m. right here on Ave Maria Radio and streaming on the Ave Maria Radio app. Gaudium et Spes says man created in God's image has been commissioned to master the earth and all it contains and so rule the world in justice and holiness. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. You can stay connected with me today on X. I'm at Radio Handley. Lord willing, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.